today's uh, introductory lecture about the production engineering and we'll talk about it what kind of jobs a production engineer can do and what is the expectation and mindsets of the production engineer first of all let's look at it the production system there is a basic terminology we use in the production system well production system is a composite term is a complete term which describes five different areas at the oil or gas field number one is the oil reservoir or gas reservoir or in general say so you can say the reservoir okay this is the second one is the well bore third one is the production conduit which is the tubing or you know completion diagrams fourth part the production system carries which is the well head xmas tree flow lines and so on and fifth one is the treatment facility so when we talk about the production system production system we talk about in general five major things one of them is the reservoir which you see here second one is the this production pipelines the well drilled after drill remember we are here not talking about the drilling anymore we are talking about the production system so reservoir this is your reservoir we are talking about here then we are talking about the the well bore and when we talk about the well bore this is the well bore we are talking about which has lots of casings inside the casing there is a tubing which is the job of production engineer to do it then the third part we say is the well head where we have well head and aqueous mystery well head is the component which is holding all those casings otherwise casings are cemented also but at the top they are held by this well head so that's why it is called well head then above the well head we put the christmas tree which has lots of walls and so on so this is the the third component we are talking about the fourth one is the separator and all those surface facilities we are talking about here we have separator separator in separator the gas is separate water is separate and oil is separate all of them are separated here and so on as a production engineer we remember we are not dealing with the reservoir this is not our job okay this job of reservoir management is the job of reservoir engineer we are not dealing with drilling engineering either drilling engineering is the job of drilling engineers they complete the well they drill the well they give us that's it they they put the well head and they go that's it after that the production engineer jumps in and he manages all the all the one all the, these things now okay for now understand this is the major production system diagram if we do the test mid term final you will see this diagram somewhere somehow as a in a exam so i may ask you draw the production system diagram and describe the production system the production system contains reservoir well bore tubing christmas tree flow line and treatment facility and so on now what is the job of production engineer this is most important well production technologies has too many jobs you can find out if you go to oilcareers.com or other oil and gas engineering job you can find too many things uh, but let's talk about the one by one what is the job of production engineer production monitoring and evaluation well production monitoring and evaluation let me write uh, in the the most important slide production and evaluation now as you know that we have the the well which has christmas tree something like this one and this well is connected with the this reservoir and this goes inside the reservoir this is a simple diagram of the christmas tree and the reservoir and the well bore in between them now production monitoring and evaluation first job of the uh, production engineer to monitor what fluid is coming here okay they monitor monitor what fluid is coming out of it as well go okay when i say fluid you can describe this term into a more better way you can say the production data when we say production data we say that what fluids are coming out and as you know that for example we have oil we have gas and we have water 
So how much oil? How much gas? Let's say seventy percent oil. Let's say ten uh, percent gas and twenty percent water. So one of the job of production engineer. Sorry. Yeah. One of the job of the production engineer is just to monitor this data. So you will be basically uh, give a, given a job at the field, oil and gas field. You will sit in front of the computer. You will be given two technicians. You will have 15 to 20 wells to, to look after what is coming out of well. Okay, how much water? Every 12 hours, they make a report. Every 12 hours, they make a report of production oil, this much oil came out, this much gas came out, this much water came out. Okay, this is the first job, you monitor this production. And then this data, every 12 hours, you send to the head office. This is the least risk, uh, risk one job. I mean, it has no risk at all. This is the most comfortable job. Salaries are low, but very comfortable job. You go, you stay there, monitor the data, record the data and send to the, to the, or, this is the one job of the production engineer. Uh, as in, the other job starts the evaluation of this data. Okay, this evaluation is done in the head office. Okay, this evaluation is because production engineer at site, he sent all this data to the head office and at the head office, they evaluate this data. For example, okay, water production is increasing than last year. Okay, it's a problem. We have to figure it out why the production of water is increasing. Okay, then production is declining. For example, oil is 70%, maybe after one year, the production is maybe 50%. Oil maybe goes to 50%. So now it declined from the 70% to 50%. Why? This is the evaluation. Evaluation means why, what, how, you know, all those questions, how, why, what, how can this be possible? Why this happened? So these questions, these words actually represents the evaluation part, wherever you apply these words, why this is happening, how this is happening, when this will ha this happen, why this happened, who did this, what is the reason? So these kind of questions goes into the evaluation. So oil 70% decline to 50%, we have to evaluate. We must evaluate why this happened. And definitely we share this evaluation with the reservoir team also, that production has declined, there could be this, this is reason. So one of the job, as we discussed, is monitoring and evaluation. You can be at, at site, they ask you to, it, in Kurdistan, mostly they hire Kurdish people, local people to do this job. Just They just monitor the data. And those who have masters and PhDs uh, from US or those places, they evaluate the data, they give the, make the decisions and they get sent back to the production manager at the site to go and apply that. For example, increase the job, increase the production, decrease the production. The new team is coming from the head office to do this job, to do that job. So, so they just follow what they, they They don't use their brain a lot, but those who are sitting in head office, they use their brain, their science, technology, research. They evaluate a lot of information. They prepare, they make decisions and they hand out those decisions to the production manager at site. So by what we have discussed now, it means that we have production engineer at site and we have production engineer, production engineer at office. Production engineer, okay, production engineer at site monitors, production engineer at office evaluates. This is the first job that we do. Now let's go back to the second one, what we do. Okay, the asset management planning. Okay, the second, let me actually copy all of them. And put in the right code here. Okay, the second one is asset planning, management planning. Now, for example, in this well, we have one well. Okay, now a question can come, now we have five wells. Let's say we have 
one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six wells now. Okay, now six wells, the question can come here, how much production we can, can get next 20 years? How much you are expecting? This is a production engineer must answer to the company because how much production, production what we are talking about is oil. Okay, how much oil we can produce in next 20 years? This gives the projection to the company managers to decide to apply for a bank loan to you know buy their luxuries, whatever they want, pay back their loans to the companies, governments, and so on. This is the asset management. Okay. The second part of asset management is how many more wells we are going to drill? How many wells we need for this reservoir? We 100 wells, 200 wells, five wells, 10 wells, 15 wells. How many wells we need? So this, this term comes in the asset management that we have to manage our asset, tell us how much uh, software, how much production we can get. And the software that you can use for this purpose is the GAT, which we have, we have already got this software. We are we will have it on campus in the next, I'm expecting it soon. So let's see, I'm just waiting for the president's signature on that. But we are almost done with the process for this asset management training. Then sometimes let's look up now at the third work over design and execution. Work over means, for example, now this well, because of the corrosion, because of the corrosion, this well here, Because of the corrosion, this well here maybe is damaged here. Maybe there's a problem here, it is damaged. Okay, and uh, work over means your well is, was already there, but then you have to do, you fix it again. For example, you have to work on it again. Like you do work over for your, sometime your homes. Okay, you, you do some reconstruction, do some repainting. So you just remanage your wells again. There are a lot of problems can happen in the well. We will talk about it. What kind of problems, work over jobs can happen and needed for, for a production engineer to manage. This is the third thing. Now, based on this, how much production we get per day, for example. Now, let's talk about at the surface. Now, at the surface, we have one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, seven wells we have here. Now, per day production is how much? Let's say you are producing 100,000 barrels per day. Yes, any question? Okay. Maybe you are producing 100,000 barrels, 100K barrels per day. Or maybe you are producing 200K barrel per day per day, depends. First, you have to figure out how much oil you are going to produce per day. This is the job of the production engineer and that can be obtained, done, settled down in the software called GAP. We will learn about it in this subject. Okay, then the second thing is you have to design the facilities here. For example, now you, you have 100K barrel per day you are producing and what to do with that? If you don't have the, the facilities to store them, then where you will put this oil? Or what, what you will do with that? Because you, for that, you need a certain surface facilities. You need to design surface facilities, surface facilities that can handle 100K barrels per day of oil. Okay, but the problem is that this 100K is not going to stay there forever. Let's say it was one year. After that, it may decline. Decline, why? Because maybe water production is increasing. Because as I said, reservoir is always alive, dynamic, situation is changing all the time. We don't know what will happen after one year. So situation in production system is very uncertain. We don't know. So based on, for example, so what if this 100K turns out to be 30K per day, which happens with Janelle here in Kurdistan. If you go back, look at the uh, Janelle news on google.com news, write Janelle water production. What happened? First, they estimated a lot of production. Then suddenly water production start. Then all their estimation, everything went wrong. And they had to downsize their shares, market, you know, so many things, so many problems they faced. What happens later on that so much water production has started? 
So it's, there's a lot of uncertainty exists in the surface facility design, which production engineer has to handle very smartly that what kind of surface facilities is going to design. For example, in surface facility, the major thing is design the separators. What size of separators you need. Maybe you design the separator which can handle, uh, let's say 100,000 barrels. But later on your company says, no, go drill more wells. Let's say you drill 10 more wells now, seven to 17 become. Production become, let's say from 100 to 200,000. So maybe then you have to change those separators, maybe increase the size or maybe put some more separator. So this is the addition and with those. Then the another question came, okay, water production increase after one or two years. Then what are you going to do with water? You cannot leave it in open air. You have to put it back or, you know, you have to manage that water somehow. We call it water handling procedures. As a production engineer, you have to do that. So this is also you need to do. Okay, then this is the surface facility design, you, you know, production equipment design, you have to do that. Then the another part which is written here is cost estimating a budgeting. You have to do the budgeting, for example, how many wells you are going to drill or produce, how much will be the cost. This will, who will do that? The head of the production engineering department, head. He will estimate all the cost. He will have a millions of dollars of budget in his account, free, freely he can use. Every company, they have their production managers. And these production engineers, they, their funds in their bank accounts by the oil companies, which they can use direct in millions of dollars. They can use with one signature. And uh, the, under them, there's a lot of team that are doing the cost estimating, budgeting. And usually he has 15 years of experience, definitely a Western nationality and a very good salaries. These because they are the managers of all the production team and they have a lot of uh, responsibility as well as they have a lot of you know perks and privileges to those people